The ideal grass law. Oh yeah? What's so uh, ideal about it? <laughs> Someone would beg to differ. It's really not well, ideal, ideal at all. Ideal simplifies by treating gas particles like billiard balls. Nice. <clears throat> with no electrical interactions. And all collisions are elastic. If all collisions are elastic, that means that both momentum and kinetic energy are, are conserved mm -hmm. and it ignores all electrical or gravitational forces. There's Pivnert! Pivnert. And you've been and the way that I've noticed is that you you have used Pivnert but you haven't really talked about it yet. And is that how you would do in class? Back when I taught AP physics, all my students had chemistry. Mm -hmm. They'd already had chemistry. They knew they knew what Pivnert was. Yeah. yeah. Plus I'm leaving a lot of stuff out and if I do if I recall um, there was, we spent time on talking about it. Yeah. Okay. So you have to use Pascals for the pressure, and a Pascal is a Newton per square meter. Uh, volume has to be cubic meters, moles, and Kelvin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's how you convert from Celsius to Kelvin. Mm -hmm. And here's an interesting thing about the ideal gas constant. If you solve Pivnert for R, you have PV over NT, mm -hmm. and Pressure is pascals and volume is cubic meters. And an Damn. interesting thing happens. A pascal is force over area. Uh -huh. Newtons over meter squared uh -huh. times cubic meters. So it's a newton meter, so it's joules. It's a newton meter, it's a joule. Wow. So that means that. Means that. Come on, come on. <laughs> that 8.31 Pascal cubic meters over mole kelvins is joules per mole kelvin. Joules per mole kelvin. Is that the one that we normally? Is it normally joules per mole kelvin? Like when we no. when we use it? No. No, I'm we do sure we do Pascal. I'm sure that you'll have R as Pascal yeah. meters mole kelvin. Yeah. But this is physics. And what we're looking at is energy. We're looking at work, pressure times volume. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so that's joules per mole Kelvin. That tells us something about the energy of the system that we can derive from this. The ideal gas law can be used for a solver a variable at a point in time or relate to changes in a system, which we did just a while ago. Okay. What can we calculate from yesterday's state one information? Well, we could calculate the number of moles like we talked about. See, this takes us into that place where we were talking about a moment ago. Mm -hmm. We know the number of moles. What can that tell us about state three? Now, here's the deal. Did I do it on here? Let me look at my paper. No. But uh, we could do this. We could calculate it. And in class, mm -hmm. we, we did do. calculate it. Mm -hmm. And what we ended up doing is... Um, this has to be Pascal's. Mm -hmm. That's 273 Kelvin. Yep. And this is 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6 Pascal's. I beg your pardon. 2.3 times meters. 10 to the negative 6 cubic meters. Yeah. So we could plug all that in mm -hmm. and come up with it. I don't think we need to. And if we know that for state 1, but it's the same. The number of moles, it's the same for state 3. Yeah, the, we, it's a closed system. That mm -hmm. piston won't let any air in or out. Allegedly. So then for state three, uh, we could calculate, well, we did this, didn't we? We, we already calculated the pressure, but we but we did that, um, oh, did we, we did that in the AP one too. Yeah, but what we could do is we could. We could calculate pressure. Yeah. If we hadn't, oh, you know what? We could double check our pressure. We could double check our pressure. Yeah. All right, there are, on PV diagrams, 
Well, in processes, there are four variables. Uh, <clears throat> an isobaric means the pressure doesn't change during a process. And we had an isobaric process. That was process A, where we went from one to two. Yep. Okay. And so uh, isobaric is pressure, like barometric pressure, mm -hmm. the root word. Yeah. And iso means the same, the same right? Not so. Yeah. So isobaric pressure doesn't change. So that's, uh, so this process right here, <laughs> isobaric. You've seen this stuff before. Mm -hmm. Isochoric, the volume does not change in, during a process. And because the volume doesn't change, there's no work done. Mm -hmm. And we've got an isochoric. We sure do. Right over there. So, so our process C, there's going to be changes for both. Hold up. Be patient. <laughs> What happens to the temperature? The temperature doesn't change during the process. Uh, uh, oh, during okay. which one? Going from three to four. Yeah. We were in the ice. All we did was let go of it. Uh huh. So we had an isothermal process. Uh huh. The temperature doesn't change during the process. Isothermal. There is a characteristic shape to an isotherm. These are called isotherms. Therms. Uh, at different temperatures. This is 300 Kelvin, uh -huh. 500 Kelvin, uh, 700 Kelvin, and 900 Kelvin. So the isotherm has a characteristic shape, mm -hmm. and the closer it is to the origin down here, the higher the temperature. Okay. The farther away from the uh, origin, the lower the temperature. And so now, <laughs> We connect three to one by drawing an isotherm. Ah, so it's got to be like it's got to be like that. Yeah, it can't be a straight line. It's a curve. It's a curve line. And this is an isotherm. Uh huh. Okay. So it's what the question is: What is the same barometric and then isochoric and then isothermal? Okay. Isobaric pressure, Isobaric. isochoric volume, Isochoric. isothermal temperature. Isothermal. I don't know what the hell choric is. Me neither. I've never heard of that. What the hell is that? Yeah. And then there's the one that always I had trouble remembering. Adiabatic. Reminds me of diabetic. No heat in or out during process. Delta Q is equal to zero. Oh, okay. So... No heat in or out. So that's gotta be, is it the last one? Is it C? Um, adiabatic takes place in between isotherms. Oh, okay. That's where work is done. Work is done to change the temperature. That's, um, <clears throat> I used to have a, a, a demonstration of fire syringe. It's a glass tube, long glass, like a, a, a test tube, except very thick glass walls, an aluminum piston that goes down with O-rings on it. You take a piece of, um, from a cotton ball and take a few strands of cotton and you put it all the way down in the bottom. Then you put the thing on and you compress it very quickly and the thing, you get this flash of light. Oh, wow. As it burns. Because as you increase the pressure, the temperature goes up. Yeah. And that's uh, that's the process. Like diesel engines don't have spark plugs. Yeah. They compress the fuel air mixture until it reaches the temperature where it, it ignites on its own. Yeah. So adiabatic. So identify each process on the PV diagram for the range procedure. And we do not have an adiabatic process. Okay, I, I was thinking, you said for a moment there that it was in between iso, 
things, so I wasn't sure if they were the points, but they're not. Yeah, they're not. We're along one isotherm. Yeah. Now, there are processes where you have that, but uh, not on this. Okay? All right, so... <laughs> I want to add the energy of a system. U at any particular moment is equal to two, excuse me, three halves. Three halves, the number of moles times R times the temperature. So if we knew the number of moles, mm -hmm, which we calculated already, we could find the we could find, first of all, we could find U sub zero, U one. We could find U two. And it doesn't, these other two things don't matter. Oh, maybe that's, oh, never mind, keep going, yeah. The pressure, the volume have no, I, no, d d no impact on it. The internal energy, what is, what is energy? Movement. And, and the internal energy is reflected in the, in the temperature. Mm -hmm. So we'd have a, a larger internal energy here. Mm -hmm. And then it would go back to the same internal mm -hmm. energy we had before and the same here. So mm -hmm. the internal energy doesn't change here and it doesn't change overall. So we could make a calculation once we had this. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we just we, so we just do it twice once for the one three and four and then the, and the second time for number two right yeah. okay <clears throat> and then and then we just add them in there yeah well we could and the the key to all of this is the number of moles okay and uh, since it's at one atmosphere I'd use twenty two point something liters twenty two point four yeah twenty two point four liters it is one, is it one mole at 20 at yeah. STP? Yeah. So at STP, one mole, and then you have to convert liters to cubic meters. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, you have to, so you can see there's a process. We could get at that final result. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Is that it for that? Oh no, AP. Question. A cylinder is filled with a freely movable piston of area that much and negligible mass. The cylinder below the piston is filled with gas. At state one, the gas is a volume of, of that many cubic meters and a pressure of that much. And the cylinder is in contact with a water bath at a temperature zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so it's at zero degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. got the volume, and that's a atmospheric pressure right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so then it's gone through the pro this process. A two kilogram metal block is placed on top of the piston, compressing the gas to state two with the gas still at zero degrees Celsius. So that's kind of like what, what you just increase. So if the temperature stays the same, what happens if you compress it is, well, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. The metal block is removed and the gas expands to state four Wait a minute. No, number two. Cylinder is yeah. in Broughton County with boiling water bath, raising the temperature to 100 degrees of state three. Okay. And then the metal block is removed and the gas expands to state four at 100 degrees Celsius. And finally, it's put back in the ice bath at zero degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. returning the system to state one. Determine the pressure of the gas in state two. Well, you've got two pressures. One is... Here it's in equilibrium, so this is atmospheric pressure. Mm -hmm. So you got atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to that, mm -hmm. which is going to be the 2.5 kilograms mm -hmm. is 25 newtons mm -hmm. divided by the area. Divided by the area, so, so you you'll get the add pressure that there. pressure to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that'll be this. Determine the volume. Wait, of so it's that. so it's that it's those the, the pressure we just calculated from that equation plus 1.0 plus plus 1.0 times 10 to the fifth. Yeah, because 
uh, it's at equilibrium mm -hmm. and that 1.0 times 10 to the fifth is atmospheric pressure. Mm -hmm. So this see that's the <clears throat> how many newtons mm -hmm. that's going to be 25 newtons divided by the area so that's the new pressure mm -hmm. now here's the thing we got a volume two which is going to be less mm -hmm. but and geez t1 stays the same mm -hmm. All right, so now let's just think about what we know about when you compress a gas. Mm -hmm. When you compress a gas, the temperature goes up. Mm -hmm. So the temperature goes up, but it's in a water bath that's going to maintain the temperature. So what you're going to have here is Q out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that temperature is like, well, like our water baths over here. Heat goes in and out, and in order to maintain the same temperature... T2 is equal to T1. In order to maintain that same temperature, you got to take some heat out of it. So. Yeah. Right. So okay. uh, determine the volume of the gas in state two. Can't you just do the ratio? Yeah, it's that ratio. Let's see. Is P times velocity, and we have P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So all these are staying the same. Mm -hmm. So P1 V1. P2, V2. And we're given the pressure and we're given the volume for the first one. And then we are, and then we, we already found the pressure for the second one. So we just solve for V2. But it won't. Okay. <clears throat> so now, so this is P1, V1 over P2. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it says, indicate below whether the process from state two to state three, two to three, is isothermal, isobaric, or uh, ad adiabatic. Okay, so what does it say happens? So the temperature changes, so it's not saying that's it's not isothermic. So the temperature is now now 100. 100. Yeah. So this over here is zero. 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 And this 100. Temperature three is 100. Mm -hmm. Our volume has gone up. Um. Yes. But our pressure is atmospheric. Is, it, is that what it says? The cylinders are brought in contact with boiling water, raising the temperature in state three. Yeah, our pressure will be decreasing then. So it's, uh, it's um... Okay, so now, here I wanna have everything here. This is greater than V2. So, if all those uh, are from changing. two to one, the pressure goes down back to so what not, it was originally. It's not isobaric. Is it? Uh, can we can we say that it's at 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 atmospheric pressure? It's free to move. Oh, I see. okay. Uh, no, it's, it's, no, it's got the it's got the the weight on top of it. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. My bad. That's right. Four is free to move. Yeah. So, uh, so it's actually the same then. It's, so the pressure now. Is the same as P two. Yeah, exactly. So Excellent observation. Yeah, so, so it's isobaric. isobaric. Yeah, because the temperature is changing, the volume is changing. <clears throat> isobaric. It's not isochoric. It's not isothermal. Yeah, and it's uh, isobaric. And um, it gives us adiabatic. I don't know how to tell if it would adiabatic be adiabatic. Is there's adiabatic. no heat in or out? Oh, oh, I see. That's why that's important. He had to go in mm -hmm. in order to raise the temperature. Okay, that all makes sense. All right, so D says, I'm not even like looking at the board here. Like, oh my God. Okay. All right, and then D says, is the process from state four to state one isobaric? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so now we have, this is P3 is equal to P1. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, is P4. Okay, and the uh, volume 
mm-hmm. is greater than all of them. Mm-hmm. And the, t- the temperature is 100 degrees. Why do I do that? What? It's the second time I've done it. Draw line. It is 100 degrees okay. Celsius. Which is not the same as the first one. Okay, so, and. So, I mean, it looks like it's isobaric. Okay, one to three is isobaric. I agree. And what's the next question? Is that? Uh, for number D, it says, number, number D, sorry, state from one to four. From state four to one, isobaric, yes it is. Mm-hmm. And then determine the volume of the gas in state four. So isobaric because the pressure stays the same. Um, and then, and the pressure, how do we explain that? I mean, the idea is that it's free to move. Well, it's free to move, so the pressure outside is equal to the pressure inside. Uh-huh. Your pressure outside, pressure inside. So it's ATM. It's, it's free to move. Yeah. If the pressure outside were greater, like this, it'd go down. Uh-huh. If the pressure outside is less, it would go up. Uh-huh. So this is atmospheric. And so is that. And this is atmospheric. Mm-hmm. Given those conditions. Okay. All right. And then the last one says determine the volume of the gas in state four. All right. Do we have the volume originally? Um, yes. 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters cubed. Okay. So the only thing that's changed here... R is the same. This is the same. The pressure is the same. Mm -hmm. So the temperature. So what this is going to be is V V over T. Over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Mm -hmm. So we multiply it times T2 Mm -hmm. and we got it. Boom. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I think the most important part is understanding. um, the, the most important part, I think, would be, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I think it is right there too. Understanding that if if the understanding that if the temperature is going to be the same from here to here, but we're decreasing the the pressure, I mean the the volume. That means yeah. that naturally the uh, that's the temperature first. would go up, but because temperature is not going up. Yep. I, I'm, I don't know it's how to in explain a water that. Bath. Yeah. It's in a water bath that maintains zero degrees Celsius. So energy so must be... regardless of what, what the temperature is in here, higher or lower than zero, energy will come in and out to establish equilibrium. Yeah, but overall out, yeah. Thank you. Okay, and then when you get it in the 100 degree water, mm-hmm. now it expands. And More because volume. inside it's at zero degrees Celsius before, now that now in order to... It's a lower temperature, heat flows in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or lower, lower, lower volume, lower volume, lower uh, and lower. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, I think I get it. All right, so now that's the first one. Okay, <clears> second <throat> one. Oh, and I, I included all the explanations. I hope that just by like looking, you know, under, understanding these, I can, you know. Having been exposed to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one. A 0.03 mole sample of helium. Isn't that nice to give us how many Yeah, that's really nice. It's taken through the cycle shown in the diagram above. Mm -hmm. A to B, isothermally to C. The temperature of state A is 400 Kelvin. Okay, so we know the temperature. So for each process, indicate the table below the quantities W, Q, and U are positive, negative, or zero. Okay. And the work done on the helium sample. All right, uh, from A to B, that's isochoric. Mm-hmm, yep. So the work would be zero. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, and the temperature the pressure go increases. Mm-hmm. So we're going to a higher pressure at the mm-hmm. same volume. What will happen to the temperature? Um, higher pressure, same volume, the temperature will uh, will increase. Higher pressure? Is that what you mean? Yeah, hang on a second. 
Um, <clears throat> no, the pressure increases. There's oh, no, Yeah, yeah, there's more pressure. So there's more pressure, same volume, mm -hmm. and we're starting at 400K, mm -hmm. and we're going... Oops. So that means that the internal, this is going to increase, which means that's po positive and positive and zero, right? Zero positive, positive? I think so. Shall we check? Zero positive. Okay, good. Okay. All right, now okay. look at B. From B to C. Okay, so isothermic. So that means that the temperature is the same, which means that... Temperature stays the same mm -hmm. so that... Is that internal, the internal energy stays, stays the same. Stays the same, so there's no change. Uh, yeah, so zero. that's going to be zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about the work? Is this going to be positive or negative work as it goes from this volume to that volume? Oh, um, sorry, as it goes from this volume goes, to this volume, it no, increases. No, we're going from B to C. Mm -hmm. We're going from B at 5 to C at 1. So the volume's decreasing. Wait, wait. B at, uh, this oh, is I beg your pardon. Uh, your break. <laughs> the volume well, is it's increasing. increasing, right? Okay, okay. I was pressure, like, wait. The pressure decreases. Okay, so if the volume is increasing, if the volume is increasing, there's a lot of letters. <laughs> the volume is increasing and the pressure is decreasing, the temperature is going to decrease, right? Well, the question is, is it going to be positive work or negative work? Oh, um, the work, um, hold on. So you're going from 0.01 to a larger volume. The yeah. volume is increasing. increasing. Is the gas done? Is the gas positive, doing positive work? Po um, positive work, yes. The gas is doing so positive, positive work. work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if the temperature stays the same, that means the internal energy is going to stay the same. Yeah. So the delta U will be zero. So zero, this is positive. And then our Q, if this is not moving and this is positive, that has to be negative? Well... Uh, what's, yeah, write our equation out. So Q equals delta U plus work. So work if, is positive. Mm -hmm, that's is zero. So that must be negative. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Equals. Yeah, positive. Okay. Let's so cheat. zero, negative, positive, zero. Is that what we said? Oh, wait, we said that. Uh, ne wait, it says negative. The work is negative. Going from B. Oh, from B to C. The work is negative. How can it be negative going from B to C? Okay, because we've got... So work is pressure times the volume. Our pressure... Uh, maybe it's because our pressure is going from 5 to 1. That's a, that's a negative number. And our volume... Is increasing. So our... Because our volume is increasing, our pressure is decreasing. Our, so our pressure is decreasing. I feel like... B to C. So like the so our pressure is increasing. How could that be zero work if the volume increases? Or you mean negative work? How, how can it be negative work if the volume What do they increases? say? Do they have an explanation down here? No. Err. The, we, we know the Q is going to be positive. The volume is increasing. Yeah, because if the volume is increasing, the air is pushing on it. So what I want to know is if the second law of thermodynamics says heat flow can do one of two things, mm -hmm. change the internal temperature and do work, and it's an equation. Mm-hmm. And if this is zero, and they agree that that's zero because the temperature doesn't change, yeah. how can one be positive and one Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. So I'm going to declare us right in this one. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. We, we, have, we, uh, we have a moral obligation to do that. Are they from C to A? Okay, so uh, so as we go from C to A, our volume is, de is decreasing. Okay. Well, you know what they've done is they've switched these. No, they, no, they haven't. So the volume's decreasing, and the pressure stays the same. Mm -hmm. So um, if the volume is decreasing, and the pressure... I'm having a hard time thinking all this through my head. The volume decreases. That should be negative work. Which one? This one here? Yeah, because if B to C... The volume is decreasing. Yeah, it's doing negative work on the thing. Because the, cause the, the air pressure on the outside is doing positive work, right? Yep. 
so that should be negative work. Uh huh. And then uh, if the temperature is going to be increasing, that that should be positive. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, so it's going from a large volume. The pressure stays the same. Yeah, the pressure stays the same. That means that heat has to, you're squeezing it. The pressure stays the same. That means the temperature has to go up, which means delta U must be positive, and they have negative. Hey, right. something's wrong here. Yeah. All right, explain your response for the sign of the quantities in AB. Okay, AB we agree on. Those mm -hmm. other two, uh, that's trash. <laughs> okay, so um, how come work was zero going from A to B? Um, because work is the area under the PV curve, and it, there's no, it's the, it's the pressure times the change in volume, but there's no change yeah. in volume. Why was the change, the internal energy change positive? For the first one, yeah, um, because as we increase the pressure, um, that means that the that we're increasing the amount of movement in there, which is increasing the in total total internal energy. Yeah, well, it's right here on Pivner. Yeah, volume stays the same, in stays the same, as pressure goes up, temperature goes up. Yeah, yeah, and temperature has to do with the. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh... So work is, we said, was zero. So work is zero. Uh -huh. I beg your pardon. Work is, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> work is zero. The uh, we said plus, temperature we said goes up. Uh-huh. And Q goes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. this makes sense? Yeah, right? yeah, it does. But it doesn't make sense. See, that's why. There's something wrong here. Yeah. All right. Calculate the volume at C. Mm -mm. So the volume at C. So for the volume at C, we have the volume is... Um, uh, okay, the volume at C. So N stays the same every time. Yeah. R stays the same every time. Mm -hmm. And we've got pressure and temperature. So for this one, the volume is changing, but the pressure is staying the same. Now, what they tell us is the temperature at A is 400 degrees. So oh, that's right. The temperature at A is 400 degrees, so P, V equals T. And they want to know V, right? The, calculate the volume. Yeah, the volume so P at C. Divided. So, um, <clears throat> so we know the vol. So, um, wait. It wants to know the volume at C, volume, volume, and it get, and the temperature is. So I think that all we need is the uh, the volume. See, because what we've got we PV is equal to T. Yeah. And this is at at A. A A. A, oh, I see. Okay. And we can have P V over T mm -hmm. is equal to in R, right? Which is a constant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's the one we want C? So we want C. P C V C, C over T C. TC. There we go. Now. But we don't. We want V C. And we don't. The thing is, we don't know the temperature at C. I don't think. No, we don't. And it's not the same because it's not on an isotherm. Yeah. So I, I think that, um, it, uh, is it like eta? Uh, actually, oh no. We well, might need to find the number of moles. Well, it gives us, it tells us 0.03 mole sample. Oh, we got the number of moles. Yeah. Um, at 100 degree Kelvin. So I, I think so what we should do is... Um, so A is 400 degrees? Yeah. Well, we don't have anything missing there. That's why I don't understand. Like, we have everything. Yeah, but we don't know what the temperature is at A. 
Tem temperature of A is 400 Kelvin. We don't know what the temperature is at C. We don't know what the temperature is. The temperature is at C, All right? So we don't know the temperature at C. Uh, I'm just wondering so if we've we got, can do so a we've simple got, one. I know. So so what are our what are our three options? So we we have the pressure up at A and and oh, the temperature is the same at A and C. The pressure is the same. So the okay. pressure goes away. Yeah. So the pressure goes away. So we we so vo, so um oh my god, V is um volume. And then T so V of A T of A equals V of C over T of C. And you know what we, you know what we have to do? We just have to just we have to use the moles. And we have to use the moles here define the to find the temperature at C. Which uh, we could do. Yes, because we Oh wait, no. We got 3 moles. We got point yeah, we got point oh three moles. We know R, we don't know T. We know the oh, we know the volume and we know the pressure. Okay, yeah, so we can figure out the temperature at that spot. Mm -hmm. Is that what, is that what we did? Mm. Five atmospheres is one atmosphere. Does it give us the atmosphere? Five and one. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, duh! The information's right there. So mm -hmm. you've got the pressure. Mm -hmm. That's just boom, boom, boom. Wait, what is it? What is it? One again? V of C. So uh, they did a V to B, V to B to V to C. Or, but then they took out the temperature because it's the same. Because it's the same. So that, oh, that's what they did. And that makes sense. So we were just using the wrong one. We were trying to use A, because, but we could really use B because we know that B is going to be the same as C. Okay, so that makes sense. I wonder if we could get the same answer doing it like this, though. That's right. We don't have to do it. <laughs> um... Oh, wait, here's the alternate solution. There we go. PVT. Do you find that, see what they're doing? Yeah, you find the temperature. B, which is what you just said. Yeah, the temperature of the find, They find the temperature of the isotherm. Mm -hmm. And then you use that. Oh, as, yeah, that's not 100% what I was thinking. But, but what makes sense is that we were just using the wrong one. We can use the pressure and the volume and the temperature of B to C, and the temperature just cancel out because See, of the, the same. Thing is, you have experience with this. Yeah. And your instincts have been right at every point. Yeah. And so our purpose here is accomplished. Yay. Yeah, I, you know, I just, I get a little nervous about completely understanding the Q and the W and the, and the energy, eternal energy, but I think that it's enough to help me on the quiz with the CSET, so.